Arlington Heights and Itasca. That money will probably end up coming from additional This better be good. Yes. Yeah. Or we feed you to the thing. You guys got something against Dalmatians? Accident or murder? That's the question ours and investigators are struggling with tonight after a freak explosion known by firefighters as a backdraft. Bengali, did you do it? Did you do block of West Wall. The owner of the home was killed instantly. Hey, look, that's me. The windshield of his car. He's been identified as Alan Seagrave, a prominent Chicago CPA. Despite concerned pressure from members of the city council, fire officials refuse to speculate on the cause of the fire, saying only that their investigation is continuing. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Uh, 17's official Toastmaster. And bullshitter. Thank you, Santos. <laughs> Did I happen to mention you were cut out of my will? I think it appropriate that we recognize the two asswipes, probationary firemen, <laughs> among us today who were officially baptized into the world of old man fire. First, to Tim, despite the fact that he was born with a rather dull expression, and a really hideous pair of ears. <laughs> he not only took on the beast, but pulled from its clutches, assisted by a more famous and brilliant firefighter, me. A kicking and screaming civilian who will probably wind up suing us for breaking our fingernails. <laughs> and to Brian. Help me, Santos. His own contribution was both more beautiful and less likely to sue. <laughs> you know, when I heard that both McCaffrey brothers were being assigned here at this station together at the same time, my heart was filled with a, a sudden desire to transfer. <laughs> <laughs> so raise a glass, lads. The funny-looking Tim and the McCaffrey brothers who, despite the fact that they've gotten on each other's nerves for years, have managed with great effort to still be pissed off at each other. Gentlemen. Fuck you! <laughs>